How you doing? Uh, it's been a jam-packed full week this week. Uh, you've gotten a lot of stuff <laughs> this week from me. Um, Friday night, you have Finn Equation. Uh, Sunday, you had IE Creators. If you haven't seen that, go check that out as well. Uh, and tonight is the first episode, and we're just gonna kind of wing it through. Uh, it's just a you know fun little thing. I, I know Bart's been asking for it, <laughs> uh, and a couple other people you know been wanting to see as well. Uh, we're just gonna build some Gundams and you know talk anime, uh, just like casual chat, like like you know just hanging out with good friends and just talking stuff. Um, so and let me introduce you to the co-host. It's gonna be joining me on this venture of a new show uh josh lambert jake you Ooh, look at cool joe <laughs> i was gonna say where yeah, are you here? yeah i can hear you. you sound a little staticky though yeah, i got you man there you go all right um, <laughs> what's going on striden how you doing um so yeah tell people um uh, about yourself jay Uh, I know Dante here playing a bunch of video games with them. Got into the 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 toy and show and hanging out with this community. Uh, be here with you, man. Sharing sharing Gundams and bro. Talk a little anime. I'm, I'm man. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me and doing this. Uh, relatable fix here says up infinity equation goon squad stand up yes indeed um so jay what will you be building tonight or what will you be trying to start tonight yeah table i figured i'd start out with uh hit so i got this uh, grade new gun the uh kind of like a gundam base exclusive one you can only you're supposed to only get a in just Japan at one of those locations. Uh, I uh, picked it up when they did um, the base event on Premium Bandai. So I figured it would be a kind of special kit to uh, give it a shot. So I'm excited. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Greg asks, so what is your favorite premise for why the Gundam is special between the different series? That's a good question. I don't know. It's uh, I think it's a different one. So like, I really from some of the C series shows. Um, but I think my favorite is the uh, designs are cool, and I like how they do a dip on uh, the pilots and the people a little. Different. It's got jazz. Music. That's... Uh, you cutting out on my end. I don't know if he's, if he's cut, if you're cutting out for everybody else, but you're cutting out on me a little bit. I'm kind of missing what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. You hear me a little better right now? I just might need my internet. Yeah. No, I can hear you a little better. Cool. Um. For me, it's always either like uh, the G Gundam series, uh, Gundam Wing. Um, those uh, Gundam Wing was my first exposure to Gundam. Um, I do like Amuro Ray's Gundam. Was it the RX? I forget. I always forget like, what it's called. The RX something. Um, I see. Yep, RX seventy eight. Yeah, that one. I like that one. Um, that one actually, I kind of started really liking recently. It's such a simple design and it's just great and i like using it in, in the gun uh evolution game as well um but and and yeah, Pell Riot I think as the well. design's like was that saying the rx78 design like it it always looks good no matter like, like how you, you takes on it, it just yeah it's good um yeah, that's really about it for me. Uh, the one I will be building tonight if I'm everything down, is this one here. The Master Grade uh, G Gundam. So I am a 
As I can say, I'm a big fan of this one here. I do like some G Gundam. I know there's some who don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what's going on, Disney Val? How you doing? Uh, let's see here. Johnny Stratos, what's going on? He says, I never, I've never built one. Well, now you get to watch us build one. So I think, you know, if Johnny wants to try to build one, these entry grade kids are need any tools in the target usually. Yeah. So if you want to give it a shot. I, I, I yeah, definitely like the ones at Target's. Yeah, the ones at Target's are great. Uh, if you just like one, just try one out because they're not too hard. Uh, they're not too simplistic. I mean, they're easy, they're more a little like simpler on the design of it. There's not many parts, so yeah, that I definitely agree. Like that's a good start there. Uh, Strand says they have the one one scale of V in front of their store. Uh, RX seventy eight two, also known as the first Gundam, God burning Gundam. Yes. Uh, Greg says the solar and pseudo solar reactors in zero zero were really cool. They bought in a lot of mobile suit features from a different series merge, merging them. Um, Strand says one to one forty four is great for the beginners. Yep, that one is good as well. Yeah. All right then. Um, uh, this is uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this one on this episode because this is uh. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna take. Thank you a while, man. <laughs> okay, I, I should have picked the other one, but I wanted to. Fi I finished my other uh, G Gundam, so I, I did want to do this one. I kind of just want to get them back to back done, so I have them together. Like I said, they're my favorite. Uh, and then next time I'll do uh, an easier one. Yes, Robert Diaz, erupting burning finger. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and get started here. <laughs> can't, yeah, I can't mess with Robert. What's going on, Berserk? How you doing? All right, so uh, I'm going to get my pieces here and uh, get this open here. Actually, I might move this mic just a tad bit closer to me. Uh, Berserk said, I gave my daughter my HG burning Gundam as her first kit. Oh, wow. That's very nice. Oh, nice. That's generous of you, sir. Hope she enjoyed putting it together. Entry kits. This one's a little, a little more complicated because you know, like try to build the kit with the you know, your kids, fuse, a little brother, sister. Um, RX 78. Pretty easy. It's a lot of fun. What, what did I say before? Yeah, it's you know it's an afternoon build. <laughs> it's it's an afternoon build. <laughs> like five thousand piece Lego pirate set. Exactly. Definitely. Exactly. <laughs> I know we're doing um, Gundam. You wanna you wanna see the Lego set? Yes, let's see the Lego set. <laughs> it's gonna be big, but I have no idea to be this big. And that's the um, which one is that? It's the Razor Crest. Goodness. And it's got like details inside, like a nice cockpit. Uh, I mean, both that's armor and stuff in there. Uh, Greg says, G Gun uh, Gene Gundam's cockpit being a mocap type of deal was interesting. And the thing I liked the most of the series, the burning hit, uh, burning hand catchphrase was so corny, though. Yeah, it was, but I, I still enjoyed it. I still loved it. Thing is, uh, like, there's so much corny stuff in all the Gundam shows, exactly. Uh, Robert Diaz says Hobby Lobby has a healthy Gundam selection store. You know what? Everybody keeps saying that. I have not been to a Hobby Lobby yet uh, to check out their Gundams selection. So I might have to try to uh, see what they have because there's a store in my area that carries a lot of Gundam kits. Um, I bought maybe like I think like two or three from them. 
Uh, I showed you the one that I think I bought from them, Jay. Oh, uh, I think it was like the Zazby. I think it was the Zazby. Yeah, Zazby. Yeah. Uh, they do sales on model kits or something. It's a stuff. So it's like forty percent time. You need some good deals. Yeah, so I might have to check them out and see what they got good. All right, says this is my childhood here. And what's funny about this one too? This is rubber. I've never seen that in the kit where it's just rubber. I got one kit that has as it's like from the nineties. I was like kind of surprised. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zerk says the absurdity, the absurdity of G Gundam is my favorite. If Bandai ever gets around to releasing the Tequila Gundam, I'm 100 percent in. <laughs> uh, I That's doubt that. Everybody, everybody, wants. <laughs> everybody wants Tequila Gundam, man. The sad part is they probably won't because it's just in this day and time, it they probably won't fly. It probably will not fly. <laughs> you never know, man. Could, um... They did a new uh, HG Gundam. They did the Rose Gundam. So oh, really? Die. Yeah. Uh, it might still, still be something anyone wants. Uh, so, I, you know, you make ones. Like, what if they did the window yes. gun? Oh, well, see, yeah. See, you know what? I'm, like I said, I'm still learning, like, all the Gundams that have been released. Cause there's like certain ones I will buy. Like I'm like, oh yeah, that one looks cool. I'll get that. That one looks like a fun build. I'll get that one. And that's about it. And I'll just build it and put on the sh- like pose it and put it on the shelf. So this looks great. This looks so good, good for a cheap little kit. G twenty five. This actually has freaking screws in it. That must be really old. Probably like the knees. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt right now. I can see that as <laughs> right now. Yeah, I know. It's just going to be a pain because I got to find out where the screws are on in this. All right, so there's 25. I think they give it in, in with a little baggy. Maybe I did see that bag. Uh, oh, yeah, there they are. I didn't take them out of the box. I thought they were stickers. Yeah, it's like a sticker bag. Almost lost a piece already. That's the one, All right. one uh, thing. My new, uh, my new building room. So I'm scared. <laughs> you don't want to lose no pieces. Yeah, I don't blame you. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Strand says G Gundam is part of the super robot genre of mecha anime. Very true. Uh, Brazil says just add a, a Patreon sticker and get profits. <laughs> uh, Greg says, What are some of your favorite Gundam designs or features in a different series? Uh, so recently, I found I've been loving the unicorn. And Jay knows that because I've been looking for like a great build of a unicorn one. I think unicorns. Um, yeah, for me, I like, like like the seed wing. Like I said before, I just I think the designs are really good, and uh, I really like all the stuff from Thunder. But big crazy backpacks. I'm all, all in, man. <laughs> You know, I wasn't. I'm not too crazy about like the like the giant backpacks on some of the Gundams. Like they look good sometimes, and just like uh, I'm, I'm good on it. I was really good on it. Uh, I love it. Am I really supposed to screw this in with my hand? Come on now. It says no. It, like it has like an exclamation point on the screwdriver. That's why I'm like, am I supposed to do it too tight? 
Just be careful. Maybe. Now I gotta find. We'll translate on the. Uh... Did I? I'm trying to think. Stratus says I will, will want a PG Gundam, but I think didn't I build one already? No, I don't think you did. I thought maybe. Okay, maybe it was a. Uh, was it a real? I think it was a real great one that I was upset with. Yeah, it was one of them. No, that, I was upset because like that was a master grade. Master grade. Okay. The hand grenade. Yeah, because I was mad because like the the waste was like so garbagey. Like it just fell, and then I dropped it, and it like broke. Yeah, that's what you get sometimes, unfortunately. Yeah, I was so mad that I was like, oh, I was hot. I was so hot because like I was picking it up and it just dropped like the way in from the waist down. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Robert Diaz says, I, I like how Zero Eighth uh, MS team had a practical ground based combat instead of space combat. That was one of the ones I really couldn't get into. I, I wasn't into the story of it. Uh, and it kind of like, yeah, I, I just, that one, was, it didn't grip me like it should. That one has one of the best stories. It may be. May, I, I might have to go back and rewatch it. I may have to just give it another try because it was just one of those ones that was like, eh. I think I'm not into this. First episode's a little weird because of like Deucing from space and whatnot. But like one right. you get like a lot of really good like team dynamics. So like most of this is a little like realistic kind of, I know that sounds. I guess, yeah. I may have to, like I said, I may have to give it. I go back and give it another try. So we'll we'll see. Um, this always gets me. Like, okay, so just slides right in there. Just pull the slide right in there. Like, oh, just a slide right. In. What? Okay, I am so confused because like the screws in the way. So how is this supposed to go in there? Screw in after um, you put the two together. Or maybe not. No, because there's nowhere to put the screw at when you put the shoulder pad on. I'm assuming this is just like the shoulder. It's really weird. It's like maybe there's a smaller screw that goes in there. Yeah, I just put the wrong one in. Yeah, I think I put the wrong one in. I didn't know there's two sets of screws in here. Yeah, usually if you something for the arms, add some for the legs. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this one out. Next screwdriver to the rescue. But this one you've seen it. This one seems too long though to go in there. Yeah, that one's too big. Yeah, so it was one of these small ones, but this is like the head. Screw. Yeah, it's like the head of screw sticking out where I had to connect these two at. So it's like it should be like this. It should just connect like this. But it's saying the screw should be inside here. Can the screw go in a little further at all or no? Uh, I screwed in as tight as I, I can make it. Let's try again. Let's see. Yeah. Well, maybe I didn't. Or 
Or maybe this is a different screw I'm putting in there. Uh, you know what? I see there's there are shorter ones. There are shorter, shorter ones. Uh, that makes sense now. There we go. There we go. See? First time building one with screws, folks. Uh, so just bear with me. Uh, let's see. Greg says, see Strike ha having different gear loadouts was something I like. It reminds me of Centurions. Uh, just Justin says, model kits aren't my thing. I'm lazy and get <laughs> and just get all the gun to wing universe figures, but just wanted to drop in and show some support. My man, keep up the good work. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Robert says, Dante must have a real passion for this. His hand size has to make some of these kits a challenge. Yes. Yes, my hand size does make these kits a, a very much of a challenge. Uh, PG will have lights and it's larger scale. All right. So, okay. That's why I, I always get confused with the play with most of the perfect grade ones. Uh, Robert says, I assembled a master grade Epion years ago. It was almost no fun until I finished it. Uh, Nick says, when you guys have time, you should experiment with a 30 minute mission kits. Very fun, easy builds, and they're easy to add on to regular. HG Gundam kids. Also, Gundam Zeta is the best Gundam show. Fight me. <laughs> and then Robert says, so, so What's that? Robert says, Oh, if MS team had the showrunner slash writer die six episodes in. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Uh, Greg says, I have heard of a good deal of the fun people have have with the gunplay is mixing segments from different kits that they like to, together. What grade do you find is the most friendly to do that with? I've never mixed any kits. I'm not that good. I'm not going to lie to you. I am not that good. I think it depends. Hands. Like I, I haven't done too many yet outside of like the ones that are made. I think in some ways maybe the uh, the high grade just because they're a little simpler. Uh, the master grade ones have a lot more complicated things you gotta learn. There's some people out there who do some really really, really cool. Uh, uh, I think there's this one, one guy, Gundammer Pat. Uh, He's done some real crazy stuff. Yeah. Like, um, I know, was it, I think it's Studio G. Like, he, like, I think he usually play, puts it all together. Shows you what it looks like all together. And then he, like, sits there and takes it all apart and repaints the whole thing and puts it right back together. I don't know That's how he does movie. it. I, I... He's done some cool custom. Yes, he has, yeah. Even with the Evangelion ones, uh, he's done that with. And then I'm like, man, I don't know how you even remember how, like, how you putting that all together is beyond me. Because I, I would forget how to put like half of that stuff together. And I'm like, I don't know what this, this piece looks like the same piece I just took out like five minutes ago. I don't know. Or do custom painting that, um, them take it apart the paint it just so they can see however sometimes they, like loosen things up or tighten because once they're like looking like it kind of stiff um, and I, I right there you know i think there's got to be real careful with this so. yeah it probably is oh, let's see so this goes here this one goes here. I think I could say I could piece out again. And then this just goes around top of it. Woo! So, you understand when you have like huge hands, it makes this like ten times harder. Uh, Robert says, I own 40-ish Assault Kingdoms, which are tiny Gundams, 1 220 scale. They are not neat to paint up and customize. Sadly, the line is dead. I didn't even know they even made them that small. 
Sorry, I got to sort these screws out because the sand got screwed in. Screws into this here. It's like doing surgery. Oh, no, it's not that one. Is it this one here? Nope, oh, that's too big. They may have like a legend, in like which screws are, or sometimes if uh, if you pick pick one up and. So I think the manual might be the right size for the screw. Yeah, it's. I'm looking at it. Maybe this is, maybe this is the right one. Like sometimes I show you like a screw and like a box and hold the screw up to it, and if it if it lines up, it's the right. I don't know if they were doing it like that back then. Yeah, I don't know, cause like this is like really. It says I said it's like four, four times, but I don't know if that's the right one or not. Uh, what's going on, Moonlight? It says hi, Dante. Just wanted to see, just want to uh, see if you watch uh, Witch from Mercury and if the kits are easy to find there. Uh, I want to watch Witch from Mercury. I have not found any streaming service that's really uh, put it on as of yet. I think it's only on what Crunchyroll at the moment. Crunchyroll. They they have it on YouTube right now. Episode. So yes. like Bandai, you can start watching it if you go to Gundam. Dot info. They'll start putting them up there. States those kits are finally starting to show up in stores. Places have them. Um, or yeah. Or your hobby store will have them soon. Yeah, I've been waiting for the, like to get the witch kit, um, the witch Gundam. So I've I've been kind of wanting to get in that one. Then there's an English dub on the Gundam info. I'd rather watch it subtitled. I don't have no problem watching it subtitled. I don't need the dubs the all one, the time. The one I was watching on, on Gundam. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Uh, I was saying the one that I was watching on, on YouTube. Uh, okay. Uh, Nick says the mini play Voltron kit is still in my top ten of gunplay and mini play uh, mini play model kits. One of the few kits to function like an actual figure. Same with the Moon Gundam and the HG uh, Vir Virgil. Yeah, I, I love uh, the Voltron kit. I had that one. I put that one together. I'm waiting for my Megazord kit. Actually, that's the one I'm really waiting for. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. Um. So that one is, it seems like it's going to be really a, a fun kick to put together. Oh, shoot. I just messed this up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what screw it wants me to put in here because it's not, because I have to put the, uh, the wing nut on it and it is not, the wing nut is big as like, for the screws. But the screw I think I'm sure to be put on there does not fit through there. Another bag of screws in there, man. Oh, 
That's not it. Let's see. And you know what? You were right. It was another bag of screws. Yo. <laughs> I'm not used to this nonsense. <laughs> Yo, I'm not no, used to this. So many bags in these. Look at that. Yo, I, I told you. I know, but the thing is, like, I'm not used to like building one with screws in it. This is wild. This is just crazy to me. Like, it's a a kit that has screws in it. Like, I just never seen this. Yeah, the, only the real old grades from the nineties did that. There we go. Uh, let's see. So while I was fooling around looking at that, let's see. Uh, Grace says, "What are the some not? What are none? Some of the non Gundam mecha that you like? There are many, like Voltron, Big O, TF, Knights of Magic, even Galleon Escaflone. Uh, I want to do like an even Galleon one. As much as I, I can't stand watching that show anymore, I've watched it once and that was it. Yeah, yeah, I will not rewatch it." The kids are supposed to be really, really good. Yeah, I've seen some of them, but yeah. Like they're supposed to be really poseable, uh, really good ones. Uh, um, I, I told you, I'm not. Stuff that up is like there's some like third party, video, like come cool original stuff. Oh, Judge. I haven't been to yet, but. Gotcha. Yeah, like, uh, Voltron was really, was a fun kit to put together. I really enjoyed that one. Like I said, I'm waiting for Megazord to come. Uh, I pre-ordered that. Waiting for that one to come out. Um, let's see. Generate that one. Strayden says Crunchy has a start of the dub. Uh, Moonlight says kits are very hard to find here still, especially in Ariel. Uh, where you at, Moonlight? So I'm curious, like, does no, like why are kits are hard to find? Where are you located at? Uh, Greg says I miss when Toonami would air new Gundam series. Yeah. Uh, Strayden says they are they are making a Gundam universe figure for the Witch of Mercury. I've seen a lot of people have, but I just want I just want one good kit of it. So I'm hoping I can find one uh, with this pop up store in New York. Um, yeah, that one's good. There's also they're also if you wait around a little bit. They're doing like what they call like a full of that, which will be like oh really scale like master grade scale, but a little bit of like simpler build. Ooh. But I don't, I don't know when those are going to hit. I, I might try to keep on looking out for those because I, I definitely want that. Uh, you know, I, actually, you know, one, one that's really is a uh, um, show last year and came out with the model, model kit line Kyokai Senki so it's got an on the guy on the Gundam info YouTube channel maybe not Gundam info but maybe it's the band and I one up to or like animation anywhere really get uh, the model kit so really that's pretty good uh, like neck designs oh, okay like, yeah, fun kits and fun show that kid guy sent one was really good. Oh you know what I forgot I I forgot I put together um uh, Snake Eyes too, the Snake Eyes kit and the uh, the bike from Death Stranding. I forgot about those too. The Death Stranding bike is awesome. I love that one. Really good, man. I still need to put stickers on mine. Yeah, I didn't put any stickers on mine either. Yeah, he looks something kind of like... the uh, the Figma figure. Mm -hmm. 
He looks good on it. Yeah. There we go. All right. Uh Moonlight says, anyone here into full metal panic? I like designs, I like their designs. I read one book and I was like, it seems okay. I, I didn't really get into full metal panic either. That was that was another one I really didn't get into. Like I read the, like one manga and I was like, eh. Uh, Greg says, do you, do you need a, a new moniker screw loose? <laughs> uh, Robert says FMP was great. Greg says FMP was fun, but a lot of way food BS in it. I figured it seemed like that. Uh, Moonlight says the RG Evas are gorgeous. Uh, Robert says FOMO, FOMO, FOMO food was a great size series. I'm not sure which one that was. Which one he's referring to? Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, they did a parody. Robert says they did a parody full metal uh, jacket parody. Uh, Moonlight says I'm also getting the 86. I'm getting to 86 at the moment. Still in the second half. Not familiar with that one either. That's another uh, new one. They did some the show. Oh, did they? And all in um, coming up with associated toy lines lately. Hmm. He's model hard. Cut more on one out. Uh, let's see. Robert says Escafone was on Fox Kids and Saturday morning for a whopping two weeks before he got pulled from the 90s. I kind of remember that, but Escafone was like, ugh. I, that one was like, nah, this ain't for me. I remember a lot of people when I worked at GameStop were like loving that. Like, yeah, Escafone, yeah, that's great. I'm like, nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is not. <laughs> I just cut the wrong one. Fuck. This one might go to this one here. Yeah. So this is the nine. Tell you, Dan, take a man. I'm decided to watch Chainsaw. Woo! I told you, though. I like that Chainsaw Man is like that is is super awesome. Like I love it. It's just it's so wild. Um, and I know Nick's here, so he he'll be mad. He's the one he did turn me on to it. So if you hear Mr. Mr. Steel, I I did give you your props on it. I was going on Eddie. Yeah, How you doing? Like, no, no, no. That's, That's true. Yeah, you did. You were trying to get me onto it too, and I was like, yeah. But when it came on, I, I because like half his time, like I always think it's going to come on like Crunchyroll or Funimation, and I just refuse not. I refuse to pay for it anymore. Like I, I refuse to pay for any of those services anymore. But then when I seen it was on Hulu, I was like, okay, cool. The, the apps are so. Yeah, but with Hulu, I can just watch it on my TV. I'm like, all right, cool. I can just sit here and watch it, and I'm good. Yeah, but it, it, it's such a good show. It is. I just refuse. Like I said, I refuse to watch it on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll is like uh, it's horrendous. Like I hate watching stuff on there. Truly hate watching stuff on there. Yeah. I I do do Funimation, but like I hope that like they 
if they keep pushing that merger back, it becomes what you will. Like they don't have apps. Oh yeah. Like the TV the app on uh, on like Xbox and like the PlayStation and Xbox apps are terrible. Yeah. It's like yeah. They, they, yes, they are. Expect people to pay for this stuff. Yep. Oh, uh, here comes Bart. Here's Bart, everybody. He's like, okay, start over. I just got here. I'm sorry, Bart. I'm not starting over for you, sir. You late. You want you were wanting this show. And you're like, when are you gonna do Gundam? When are you gonna do Gundam? Here we are doing Gundam, and here you are late, Bart. I'm not just assembling it all and starting restarting. No, that nah, is not gonna happen. Not tonight. No, sir. Mm -mm. mm -mm. He's gonna want to ask all the same questions. <laughs> See me filling with these screws again. I'm like, yo, okay, there he is. He's filling with that same screw he didn't know what to do last time. <laughs> and that's what that's what truly what would happen too. Like, where now? Where is this dang glass of screw? Did you put it back in the box? I probably did. Yep, there it is in the box. This piece on here. Uh, F6. The only thing I wish I had is more space like to spread out these trays. Cause like it, I get tired of like going back and forth. Like I want to just look at all the trays spread out and just be like, hey, there it is. That's a tray I need. And then I got it's a, a dumb thing to spend money on, but I got the And you put a number, just stand up, and you get exactly. Oh, nice! It's great, man. Look, that's not a waste of money if it helps. Shoot, I need that. That's all I feel. I know you just spend money on that, but you don't. But okay. Very true. Very true. Do what I want. I'm bougie. All right. <laughs> I only assembled one finger of my burning Gundam. I didn't even assemble the finger. I'm still on the shoulder piece where they have me at. Because this thing has freaking screws in it. Uh, Gray says, Moonlight, I haven't heard of the 30-minute kits, but then I'm not in super knowledgeable gunplay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar with the 30-minute kits. I know Nick was saying something about it earlier. Yeah, I know about the thing that Bandai does. But the whole idea... Almost everything is interchangeable. You can swap out arms and legs or armor pieces or like okay. to plug yes. into. So those are some of the, like they're similar to the ones they have at Target. Because Target does have those as well, I think. Like the 30 minute kids. Um, they have because like I don't remember uh, if I've seen them. They're also supposed to be really, yeah. really easy to put together. Like really which is a, oh yeah, they're pretty they're easy. Not, yeah, I think I did. I think I put. It was a red ashtray one. That's what it was. The red ashtray one. That's the one I put together. That was like that, because it was like you could swap parts with it, uh, with other Gundams with it, and make like a whole different Gundam. Yeah. That's what it was. Uh, Stratton says Sony owns both Crunchyroll and Funimation. The merging is happening, fellas. It's Sony. Oh, don't hold your breath. Uh, Bart, so sorry, dude. I had to cook dinner. Did you cook me dinner, Bart? Did you cook me any dinner? Did you did you offer us any dinner? Did you offer the chat any dinner, Bart? <laughs> for the class. <laughs> exactly. Just bring enough for everybody in the class. Uh, this is okay. So there's two Fs. All right. All right, so this is F10. But yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Bad Chainsaw Man. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's so good. Like, I, like the episodes go pretty quick in that show, and I'm just like, man, like, I want more. I just want to see more of this. And then it felt like I think it was like what twelve episodes, ten or twelve episodes, and it didn't feel like yeah. that. It felt like it was less than that. It was uh, so fast. I was like, man, like this is this is pretty good. 
that's one of the things like I'm I'm used to so many other like animes have like twenty four episodes. Right. So I'm always kind of let down. Um, but yeah, yeah I thought at least the things are doing a good job, and they'll get it. We'll see. Yeah, I hope so too, cause uh, I need more. Like, uh, I think what happened is like, Promise Neverland, like animes like that, and My Hero Academia spoiled me, because I'm like, okay, like I think these these should be longer, and they're not. It's like, oh man, it's no fun. Okay, so they correspond to their whole piece. All right, that makes sense. All right, that's cool. That works. Flip flops. Flip flops. Especially with Chainsaw, I mean, like they, they, they tease that there's so much other show. Right? Yeah. Like, 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 Runs their division, like secrets, right? Like, but they haven't even started. Yeah, like I'm really excited, like to see more, like more in depth of the characters. <laughs> Stride is crazy. He's like, there's nothing to spoil in My Hero Academia. Well, I'm not. I haven't caught up Stride, so if we, I kind of know about a little bit of some of the stuff, but. I'm still trying to catch up. I'm just I'm slow at watching it. It's I don't know why. Bad. I'm just slow. It's so good right now. Yeah, I like I'm up to I'm still thinking like in a was it the fourth season when uh Miro lost his power? Is it the third or fourth season? <laughs> Is it one season six right now? Oh, we'll see, yeah. So, yeah, it's probably like the four, fourth season then. Because I think I am two seasons behind. No. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Thank you. He said, Bart, if you're going to tease food without bringing some in for everybody. <laughs> and he tells Greg not, not to brag, but I'm a great cook and I don't use a recipe. Well, excuse me. Uh, they always have exclusives of the Bandai booth is there, says Robert. Uh, Dad, Greg, asking the man how many Michelin stars he got. Like, I didn't know he was open restaurant. Uh, Moonlight says, anyone here follow Attack on Titan? Like and what? I'm sorry, what's up? I said, I'm feeling like you, man. Man, I can't. <laughs> what are they doing? I told you, yo, like, yo, when you got big fingers, they give you small, little, teeny, tiny parts. You're just like, yo, well, this is game over for me. It's game over. Uh, you can probably answer this one, Jay. Uh, anyone here following Attack on Titan? And what part of uh, final season are you in? That's more really. I feel like I'm caught up. I just have for the final season. It was out last year. So I don't know. It's supposed to come out soon. Unless I missed it and it's already out. No, I haven't seen it. I would have seen something if it, it had dropped. But I haven't seen anything as of yet. I don't think, it, I don't think it's dropped yet. No, not yet. I cut the wrong piece out. <laughs> See, I did that already. I did that twice already. Twice. And I'm sitting here looking at this. I'm like, oh, I was supposed to be doing these two times, these things two times. Uh, where is this going? Is it going in there? Okay, there goes the mirror. 
B8. Uh, Greg says, do you have a series you can't wait for the anime adaptation to to happen? Uh, I would say Berserk, but I mean, they kind of like messed that up with the animation that they have for it. Um, I wish they come out with more Spriggan. I would love to see some more Spriggan. Like the first couple se- like the first uh, season on Netflix was really good, uh, but I would like to see some more. Uh, and maybe some more of my boy uh, Junji Ito, some more of his stuff, because I do like uh, I do like his uh, stories of the dark macabre of things. Uh, what about you, Jay? Thanks for. Uh... I do want to see. I mean, I didn't think the anime was as bad as everybody said before I started reading the books. Which one? But that is berserk. But there's a lot uh, of good stuff there. I think it was the animation for me. It was not the anime. It was the animation for me. Like it was just terrible. Yeah. I see. That was like a little like. On, on during the story. The one thing, yeah, I, I guess they said they're making more, but I haven't seen any, but the um, Netflix season two, two thing has been in the making. So that mm-hmm. one isn't one of them. Uh, um, usually, and then I get into the bangers after the fact. So, so Adoro, yeah. Adoro, Adoro. Uh, I can't wait for my boy Baki to come back. That one. Baki, uh, if you haven't checked out Record of Ragnarok, that's pretty good as well. Uh, Oh, second season, it's just, it gets wilder. Second season is just wild. Uh, let's see. Newcastle sixty six sixty six says I'm currently working on the Master Grade Gundam Wing Shenlong. Ooh, I like Shenlong. I love his dash. I love Shenlong. I love that Gundam. Um, oh wow, there's a lot that I miss. Uh, let's see. Strider says Attack of Titan show uh, slow to roll out the anime. Yeah, uh, Greg says, okay, anime politics for you. Do you watch fillers or skip them? <laughs> I, I'll have to watch it all because even if it is a filler, I still have to watch it to see what's going on. Uh, let's see. Trent says, I have yet to see part one of the final season, which is season four. Uh, Bart asks, anyone built those Transformer kits? I've done six so far and love those things. I wanted to get drift on that for those Transformers kits. I think that one would be a fun kit to build drift. Yeah, I've heard those are pretty good. And then there was a really crazy, like, uh, like, like uh, um, Optimus Prime. I think it was any donated or something like that. Yeah, I, I think I, yeah, I know which one he's talking about. Okay, I think I did uh, see that one. Called Otaku Builder that did a really good one of those. So if you guys are in the Gundam or you want to see some cool builds, suggest looking at Otaku Builders. Videos. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, this, this, this is amazing. Uh, Robert says, I gave up on Attack on Titan after pacing issues in seasons one and two. Oof. Um, Robert says, I already know the what'd you say? Like, you're missing, missing out. I don't know, season three was pretty good. I mean, this fourth one is the started it, and then do a the time jump or something. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, is it like that? I think it's probably like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Robert says, I already know the end, but I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, Greg says, Spring it on Netflix is really fun. It needs more. So if you get the books, they have more on uh, Amazon. The books are really good. Uh, so I would say definitely check out the books when you get a chance. Because uh, the books do go a little detailed, bit. Right? Yeah, like there's more story in there. A lot of uh, what they did in the anime to kind of shorten some of the stuff, but you're not going to be you're not going to be longing for story because those things are like they're at least this thick. That's how thick the, the mangas are. So you're getting something meaty, some meaty stories in there. Uh, Bart says, waiting on my. I'm oh, sorry. I don't think I've heard that one. Yeah, it's, then I think it's just it's like one season. Hmm. Let me take a look at that one. Say, uh, let's see. Bart says, waiting on my PG RX 78 unleashed to arrive, and I'm going balls deep on that thing. Can't wait. Ooh, very nice. Oh, man. You're going to love that. That is good. Really good. Good fun build. Uh, Greg says, Tell me you read Soul Leveling. No, I have not read that one yet. I think uh, somebody told me about it, but I haven't got a chance to sit down and read it. You got to stay. Like, I have a stack full of comics I have to go through first before I can start even reading any mangas at this point. Like, half the stuff I have to read on the train going to work. Um, Shry says, I'm still waiting for season two of Goblin Slayer. Oh, I thought they. Dang, go on. I haven't watched season two of uh, Promise Neverland. Uh, Robert Diaz says, Philip suck. I found all the first Naruto box sets for at Goodwill for seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Sold the filler arcs and kept them. Kept the non filler. Uh, Naruto is sixty percent filler. So it's great. <laughs> uh, Robert says, just as long as we don't get, as long as we don't get more Baki. Baki is terrible. What? Robert, you got you got to go now. You got to go now. Baki is that man. Come on, Robert. Man, I let you slide with the AOA stuff, but you can't be talking. You can't be disrespecting Baki like that. Uh, Greg says Vinland Saga season two is slowly moving along. I have not watched that either. I've heard of these, but I never watched them. Greg, uh, okay, let's see. Greg, let's see. Melissa, Detective Conan fillers are okay with me. They're sometimes more creative than the manga cases. I like Detective Conan. I like that one. He, that was, I enjoy that one. Uh, Greg says, true, once, a, once in a while, a filler story can be good or have a good premise carried out poorly. Um, what's the one on Netflix they redid? Uh, they just recently redid, and I can't remember. Uh, he's like, it's like this kid. He's stuck in the uh, like he's stuck in this kid's body. But if the girl kisses him, uh, he becomes like this great war, like wizard or warlock. I forget the name of it. I watched like the first episode of it, and I need to finish w- watching that one. Um. Bart says, if anyone, if anyone don't know, Hobby Live carries one in one forty four scale Gundams, and they go on sale for forty percent each couple weeks. It seems I pick up a lot of kids there. Yeah, we did talk about that earlier. Oh no! Don't tell me that Moonlight season two of the Neverland was a disaster. No. Oh, Soul Eleven is not a manga. It's a it's a manhwa from Korea. Is that how you spell it? It's a mo mo manhwa or manhwa. Dad, you're halfway done with your freaking Gundam. And my gun was like, ha- like has barely one arm. <laughs> That's why I did the entry grade. Stupid. This thing looks real good, though, man.
Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, that no, was my fault. My, I think I moved my mic. Uh, let's see. Uh, my, I know my headset. Well, died, I said so I just wanted to make sure that I'm good. Now you sound clear. Now you sound great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Bastard. That's it. Thank you, Omega. I knew you. It was Bastard on Netflix. That one I was kind of enjoying. Uh, oh, I didn't like... watch that. Did you like that one, Bastard? Uh, I watched the first episode. I didn't get. I didn't sit there and watch any more of it. But from what I was watching, like the first episode was pretty good. Like I enjoyed it. It was pretty quick. But yeah, it was it was halfway decent. Cause that's that that fantasy kind of one, right? Right. But it's from like I think this is a remake of the original that came out years ago. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, let's see. Well, it says they pretty much crammed the rest of the arcs into one season and skipped the best ones. Ooh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. I might skip Promise Neverland season two then. Uh, Grace says Josh over Dante at gunplay. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> doing an easier kit. He's doing an easier kit than I am. I am, man. I am. He's he's and he's got screws. Screws. Yeah, I, this is my first kit with screws in it. So this is gonna be like a prior two parter because like this is a lot. Dante played himself. I did, and I did not notice this is gonna happen. <laughs> and I noticed even uh, half freaking screws in it. You gotta read the directions, man. See what you're getting yourself into. I see now. Uh, I see. Uh, let's see what was this? Uh, oh shoot! Man. All right, so that's the arm. It's higher up here. Right, so I gotta get piece G6. Where's G? It's not G. Here it is. This is G. Uh, You're in that bucket. Yo, because I got to flip. I got to go through like each tray because I got to move trays out of the way. <laughs> I told oh, you I need yeah. more space. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah, that's it. It's clunkity, clunk, clunk. Clunkity, clunk, clunk. Oh, there we go. G6. There it is. And if you're doing Gundams, this is your best thing right here. Get yourself some nippers. Yep. Because I did not this know about these one. when I was a kid. Right. Y'all, when I was building model kits as a kid, I did not know about these. Nobody ever told me about them. And I was sitting there, like, trying to snap them off of my hand. Do it this one. So I'm not doing it just because I want it to be a little cleaner. But, like, this one's designed that you mm. can just twist them off. That's why they're good. Like, if you want to try it or you want to, like, get someone going, like, they, they just pop right off like that. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's lost in place. There we go. Now we got somewhat of a hand. Well, I don't know. So that slides into here. All right. Do, 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 party till I die. Get my chin up high. There we go. All right. Let's see. Uh, I want a second season for Tokyo Ravens. Been waiting 10 years. At this point, I know I won't get it, but I can hope. Uh, Bart says, when I was a kid, we call it anime Japanimation. Yeah, I did the same thing as a yeah. kid, too. Uh, Stride says, Bastard is a fun anime if you can go with uh, go with not so high expectations. I, I don't know what to expect, honestly, with it. So that might be the best way to go then. Uh, Greg says, Tokyo Ravens isn't that, isn't that the one with Omiya Mages and the reincarnation story? 
Okay, so that is great. Uh, Robert says, uh, Robert says the soundtrack was popping and the action was good. It was good, but the cliffhanger killed me. Uh, Moonlight says, I'm trying the new Trigon. So far, I can't get into changes, but the animation seems nice. I keep forgetting that one, the new Trigon dropped. I don't know what that is, but I've heard a lot of people are talking about it. Like, is that you don't think that's something I should give a shot? Oof. Let's see. Let's see here. What else we got? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, episode. Oh, I think I'm only said I'm, it's on episode six now. Robert said it took a uh, took to Aru Machis No Index season three almost seven years to come out. Good lord. Omega Weapon says, have you seen Gogo 13? Yes, Gogo 13 is awesome. I've seen a couple of, uh, most of everybody's seen the Gogo 13 movies. Robert says he owns all the two episodes of anime and the, all the movies. Goodness. As well as the bootlegs from J- Japanese live action and Figma. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, Greg. I think that's what stopped me from watching did, Bleach. Did you have the, when you were growing up? Did they have the, uh, the like Japanese import stores at the mall, like where you could get like figures and like bootleg anime VHSs and stuff? Um, there was there was very few stores that carried it. There was yeah, it was truly. I very remember few we had a, that a store it. like that. Really. don't need it but like yeah if you wanted like because we used to get figures and a friend of mine like the japanese sega the japanese nintendos and we'd be playing like japanese dragon ball game on like super nintendo (laughs) you don't know what you're doing because you can't read anything so you just they were great (laughs) man i we don't we got them all so i was impatient crazy story so I, I was like, I was impatient for like the longest time. I was like, yo, I like, I want a Japanese game that I could play on my, I think it was my PS3. And it was a Gundam game that I bought. Yo, I got that game, did not know how to play, not nor hair of it. So I kind of just like winged it when I was playing it. Man, let me tell you, that was the worst thing I could do. I'm sitting here trying to figure out, like, all right, so what am I doing with this? All right, so this is this. Uh, okay, this is this. I think this is right. Oh, I'm not sure. And then they finally brought it out to it's the, the American. Fun, man. It is, but then they brought the American version. I was hot. I was so hot. Because I was like, I don't need this one anymore. And it was like, well, there's not much I can do with it because I can't turn it into GameStop because they won't take it. So I'm like, I'm stuck with the Japanese import that game. You were the new one? Yeah, I didn't even buy the new one. I knew it. I knew I didn't it. Didn't even buy the new one. Yeah. The hateration <laughs> is strong with you, Dante. <laughs> Yo. Because they never, because I, for a longest time, because I did not know they, if they were going to put it out, uh, the American version out. That was why. Mm-hmm. Why can I not get this to lock in? There we go. Now it's locked in there. Goodness. There we go. All right, there we go. It's a little tip and trick sometimes. I'm usually on the high grade or entry grade ones. The parts mm. are one piece, but if you know, pay attention, and you can't do it to all of them, but if you cut them in the middle and move them independently, oh. you got to make sure that we'll, we'll hold in. That's good to know. Yeah, I can't believe this has rubber fist. Screws and rubber Wait, fists. Wait, the rubber? Yeah, the rubber, the fist of rubber. That's what I'm saying. Like these, oh, like the hand, like 
the hands are rubber. But they like they peg into like the, like they have like pegging hands that are rubber, and the feet are rubber too. You like the bottom of the soles. That is, that is weird, man. Like my man's wearing he's like, he's got some Nikes on. He's like, yo, my feet hurt. I need some comfortable shoes. There uh, is somebody out there on the internet that like, like Nikes and Crocs to put on your Gundam kits. <laughs> yes, I see those. Oh my goodness. That's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right, Shout out to all the creative people on the internet. Exactly. That's what IE creators for. Each month we, we do we make some we talk about creating. Grace says, look how long bleach took to get to the 1000 year art made to made to the end. Mind you, the art between those and Ericar was horrible. Yeah, I, I couldn't like it was going too long. Bleach was just too freaking long for me. That's how some of like every once in a while I see stuff like like that makes like one piece interesting, especially like now, like the new animation. Like, I don't want to go watch like thousand episodes of that stuff exactly g4 yeah i, I just and that's why i never really got to naruto because like I, it's so long i'm like come on like you gotta give me a break here <laughs> and the funny thing is i read some comment that like the one piece creator is like oh yeah the real story is now just getting started <laughs> I'm like, what? No, I'm like, dude, like, I ain't here for that. Man. They need to make some, like, summary. (laughs) That's what they did for Gundam. Yeah, I'll be down for that. I am down for that. Oh my goodness, this thing. There's 25 of yours. Uh, Mark says, I still love old stuff like Speed Racer. Speed Racer is good. I don't consider like Japanimation or, or anime. It's, it's, it's a mix for that one. I don't know what to really consider that one. Uh, Moonlight says, anyone here were familiar with Monster, the one that starts with the doctor operating on a kid instead of a politician? One of my all-time favorite titles from Japan. I've never heard of that one. What? I've never heard of that. Yeah. That sounds crazy. Um, you know what? The, I, I, the one I, I got on deep discount um, was uh with gene starwin outlaw star on dvd i still have it to this day the full series deep discount on gamestop when i worked there i love that one yo that one was so great i don't think it, you know it really didn't get that much love like when it was on it really didn't I always loved like the Ninja Scroll. Yes. Yeah, Ninja Scroll was my jam. That was my jam. I wish they would have continued that. I really wish they would have continued that. You know what? That's actually one anim- that's one manga I have not I have not really tried to search for, but I need to now. I didn't even know it was a- I've always just remembered it from the anime. That shit was just crazy. Yeah, I think it is. Like it has its own uh uh manga. So, yo, I okay, Bart. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go back and watch Zoid Shampoo again. That one, you know, what? that one's good. I did like that one. 
But Bart hit a good one too. Z the old Zoids, when that first came on, yo, that was a hitter. I love that. And I wanted those like I wanted those Zoids toys like so bad as a kid too. Like yo, I want me some Zoids. They got some Zoids. Really good model kits right now for Zoid. Yeah, I seen them. I was like, oof. It's like that's another road to go down to that I don't need to. Thank you, Stride. I appreciate that. Outlaw Star was great. Bart says Outlaw was good. Yeah, see, Bart, you were able to get those Zoys toys. I, I, I didn't get. I wasn't. I didn't get any yet when I was a kid. <laughs> Robert says burning Gundam needs those rubber hands to avoid issues caused by his burning finger. I can't tell you. <laughs> Uh, Greg says the name's blanking out here. There was a ninja anime with two ninja clans fighting and killing each other. The heirs of each clan were in love and used some eye skill. Uh, that I don't know. Somebody in the chat may know. I, I don't know that one. Really? It was, was it really? I didn't know that. Robert says Outlaw Star was heavily censored on Cartoon Network, and I didn't realize until I watched the DVD. That is interesting. Mm. Hey, Rush, what's going on? Uh, I, I am can building see some of that, man. I but I yeah. I'm, I, now I actually now I have to go back and watch the DVDs now because I never watched them. I've always just had to find memories of what Toonami showed. <laughs> uh, Rush asked what we're building. I am building. I guess so. Well, I haven't seen it in years, so I, half the stuff is probably stuff I don't, I don't remember watching anyway. Uh, Rush asked what we're building. Uh, Jay, what were you building again? Yeah, I got an entry grade, uh, but it's a special Gundam base one. And I'm building a master grade uh, G Gundam. Uh, that is all over the place oh basilis i remember i the name sounds familiar i did not know that's what happened in there though but I, the name does sound familiar to me netflix voltron had cheesy bits the netflix the netflix voltron was good i thought it was going to be cheesy as well it does have some cheesy bits in there too but it's actually pretty good. I I was enjoying it. I didn't get to watch the whole thing, but I did enjoy uh, the episodes I did see. I might have to go. I just start go back and watch it again from the beginning. I thought I cut it. All right, folks, uh, we'll be wrapping up here in a few. Uh, try to get a little bit more of this done here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, did, I only bit a, I only bit a full arm, a full arm. That's it. Because this is a, this one's a little bit different. I thought it was just snap, snap, crackle, pop, but it's not. <laughs> Some progress is progress, man. True. I might have, before we're done, I might have both arms put together. <laughs> G5, G27, G5. I don't think it was just G5. G twenty six. I think it's right here. They never have a thing in order. I always figure, like, who who sits there and puts this stuff together and says, "Hey, this is what piece goes here. This is what piece goes here, and this is how you make the gun go." Like, who sits there and actually like says, "Like, I'm the guy that puts this stuff together to make sure it works for you it guys." That's a whole job, man. There, that, there are people that is their job. 
Uh, I'm sure it is. I, I just want to know whose job is it, though? Like, really, like, whose job is it? But, yo, uh, we need you to put this, we need you to put, like, map this Gundam together. All right, cool. I got you. Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> You're right, Greg. I did have to snap, crackle, pop, and screw install. You are so right about that. Ah, just want the blood nut. Give me that blood nut. Give me that blood nut. Please, that's the right one. Is it not? Oh, because I have it on the wrong side. That's why. Here we go. Oh man, here we go, here we go. Uh despite the stent the censorship, Outlaw Star was good. It says Robert. I didn't know it was heavily censored. Like you you got you gave me something to think about here. Like I have to go back and watch it now on um, a DVD and see like where it was censored at, because I did not even know that. Did did you just, was there a reason why it was censored? Like what was like so bad that they had to censor it out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's what I'm wondering. I bet from back then they had like some nudity or something in there or some like extra violence. Probably. So that's how that stuff went back then, man. Uh Grace says, Did you watch the Gundam? Iron Orphan, Iron Blooded Orphans. No, I did not watch that one. Um, I heard that one was it was yeah, okay, but it wasn't it. great. Oh. What'd you say? I it's it's good, man. It's uh definitely one of the better ones. The suits in it are really good. On yeah, it's, I know it's on. Yeah, it's on Netflix. So. But I was like, uh. I, I remember somebody told me it wasn't that great, and that's why I couldn't remember. Like it was like it was a slowly, it's a slow, slow burn story. Oh no, dude, it's wild. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, it's like it. Huh. I oh. mean, it's like it's like every other Gundam show, like E and like weird stuff in there, but. Um, right. Yeah, it's it's good. Uh, Greg says Dante Allo censored the nudity for Mafina and the cat Sith and the gay lines on Fred Wayne Jean. Really? Fred Love was gay, and and it was the nineties and early two thousands. Wow, I didn't that I did not know. That is something. Wow. Uh, Grace's Iron Blood Orphans is insane. It's very grounded, also. Huh. All right, I'll give it a try. It's not like it's like not like twenty other things I gotta sit here and watch anyway. That's the spirit. <laughs> I still like I said. I still gotta finish. Uh, my hero academia. Like I'm so yeah, far behind. Do... It's not even funny. Yeah, man. Good. It's so crazy. The, I just want I just want to get to the part where uh Deku turns into a vigilante. That's what I want to get to. Like, he starts doing his own crime. They like, start doing his own hero. Yep. So well, like, yo, we're everybody. getting there, right? I think that started the again. 
I haven't watched oh. this weekend. We are right there. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Now I definitely gotta catch up. We are right there, man. So you. Whoa, Greg, calm down now, sir. Crack the Hasbro Indie whip. Yeah, go ahead, sir. You go ahead and crack that whip. Talk about you watch what we'll tell you to watch. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, Greg. Uh, Rob says, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't care. Uh, but at the time, Fred Lowe was deemed not fit for TV by Cartoon Network. <sighs> what is that? Who, I'm trying to think who Fred Lowe was. I am not familiar with him. Gundam Orphan, a says Gundam Orphan in the first season is great, but season two was kind of weak for me. Uh, Mega says, Watch Shura no Toki. You won't regret it. What is that about? Yeah, where can we see it? Yeah, because if it's on Crunchyroll or uh, Funimation, I don't have that. If I can find on Plex on uh, my friend's Plex server that shares with me, I I'll probably watch. I can watch it on there. But Fred Lowe was the guy Gene always wanted for financial help. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Deco goes rogue like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. <laughs> Stride <and> said. <laughs> Uh, Moonlight says agrees. Iron Blood Orphans 2, uh, season 2 was weak. Vidar was cool, though. Uh, Robin says Cartoon Network also made Sailor Neptune and Sailor Rain as close cousins to lesbian lovers. Yeah, I do, do remember that. Uh, that I do remember. Yeah, that I, I do remember uh, that happening with, with all of that. I want to do a B. That's F. This is A. This must be B. Let's just be here. Um, B9 and B10. I okay, actually cut those out already. Nope, I did not. Oh, and Greg, uh, I'll send you a picture later. Uh, I I did print out your uh I did test print of your Conan sword, so I'll see how it turned out. Uh it printed overnight. Uh see Moonlight says, remember Yu-Gi-Oh's lethal finger point? No, I did not watch Yu-Gi-Oh. I was not a fan of that show. I tried to watch it and I just like not nah, the same for me. The, the, Yu-Gi-Oh was not for me. The intro song was fun and poppy, but I was like, nah, this ain't this is show ain't for me. It was like Pokemon. Hey, the song's cool, but you know, eh, the same for me. Like I like playing the Pokemon games. Don't get me wrong, but I was like, yeah, this ain't it. <laughs> uh, four. What's four? You don't get no freaking letter, so you just say it's four. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Structure Man. You were just. Ah, you're one of a kind. One of a kind. Gee. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's not bad. some good, like, tail on it. F10. Just gotta off this one, yeah. Oh, so it go back to step four. That's what it meant. <laughs> I'm like four. What's four? <laughs> Grace is after being stuck as a fortune you over. Right. This makes no sense. Uh, Greg says, after being stuck as a 14-year-old for 20 years, Ash is going to die here. Uh, Mega says, the main character is considered one of the best hand-to-hand combat fighters. He travels around looking for the best fighters. 
Huh. Interesting. Oh, oh Moonlight Tengen, Sister. Any guns? Ashura. It's in my list. I haven't watched it yet, but it's in my list to watch. That one, man. The, it's the battle format. Is right. It looks a little bit like a Baki. So I was like, all right, well, I'll give it a try. A little bit. It's like a combination between like Baki and like almost like Megalo Box kind of animation. Yeah, see, I never watched uh, Megalo Box. Similar story. It's another good one. Oh. So that's why uh in Yu-Gi-Oh, instead of having guns, they they point their fingers. That's what Moonlight was saying. Greg's asking when Tower Tower of God season two comes out. Never even heard of that. Never heard of Tower of God. Here, I'll finish this arm up and then we'll go ahead and finish it up and finish the show. At least I have two arms done, two scraggly arms. Yeah, I do remember there was two episodes of Pokemon being banned. Uh, yeah, one was like that caused seizures. I don't know what the other one was. <laughs> oh, those Pikachu's false sisters, Robert. <laughs> oh, makes says, uh, the Gwen, Gwen, Gwen saga is a good series. A man with a leopard head. That one, I'm not familiar with you. You got me on that one. You got me again on that one. Uh, did you ever watch Black Lagoon? That's a really good one. Yes, I did watch Black Lagoon. I did like Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon was a good uh, anime. That I did enjoy that one. I wish they had made some more of them, but I guess I was like, nah, they're like, we're done. They call it a rat. We're done. Why is this not hosting that came right out? The hard part about this is is this piece here. This arm piece. This arm guard. Because it doesn't feel like it it wants to go to go together, snap together. And I don't know why. Like these pieces I don't want to just like fully assemble. You ever get that like where it's if like the pieces don't want to go together, but you don't want to push it too hard because it might snap? Yeah, sometimes stuff is just like loose, or you got to get it the right way. Everything's in it the right way. I just can't. Feels like it just doesn't want to like piece together. Is it like too tight or like? No, it's not even like. It's like it doesn't. It almost doesn't fit like the way they say it should. But it's it. It's the right way. Like I'm doing it. Like I'm doing the right way. It's just. I don't know. It's just weird. All right, I got it in there. Uh, F11. Um, 
G7. Testing to cut that one out already. G7. Yes. Oh, I forgot to put it on the other piece. So that's on there. Uh, uh, let's see. Rony Kenshin? Yeah, I remember Rony Kenshin. Rony Kenshin was good. Uh, the live action was trash, but <laughs> the anime was good. I kind of like the live action one. Really? I was like, yeah. But it's live action. Huh? This ain't it. So that piece goes like that. This should go right on. Left is the super weapon. Goodness. Um, is that how it's supposed to be? Yes. Okay, it's locked in there. Right, cool. All right, this goes on to here. I like how they have a little back piece that covers the screw so you don't see it. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Definitely. I still want to know who puts this. Yeah. This piece goes here. This piece goes here. Yeah, see. Like, I don't see why you can't make these. Like, all the arm pieces are on one tray. Then you got other arm pieces, like leg pieces on one tray, like one legs on one tray, and no legs, no legs on another tray. Like, make it easy for me. Make it easy. Doesn't have to really be a challenge today. Just make it easy for me. G6. There it is. <laughs> hey, what's up, D Amazing? Bill Faster David doing that. <laughs> I ain't fooling with you, Darius. I am not fooling with you. Build as fast as I can. I'm a slow builder. <laughs> I already put the one that you uh, already gave me together. Well, I, I shouldn't say gave you. I already bought off you. Uh, Lupin Third. Lupin Third back live action was trash. Yeah. Yeah, that, I I gotta give it like the live action was not that great for that one. Did you see that one, Jay? I didn't know they made a live. Action. No. Yeah, yeah, they did. It was not great at all. The French uh, show Lupin is great. Oh yeah, the one on Netflix. Yes, that one was really good. I still have to watch the second season. I, I had to watch that. No, it's not like yeah, that one was. Um, or anything, but yeah, yeah, that one's really that one's really well done. Well, one of the films from DVD not worth the dollar ninety nine. <laughs> Robert, you killing me? He like, yeah, it's not worth it. Money. He's like, yeah. He's like, whatever. It's trash. He's like, whatever they tell you, it it's not even worth it. All right, get those together. Now we can put some rubber hands on them. I always like the anime Lupin Thursday. Lupin Thursday. Like, bam, bam, dun, 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 dun. 
All right, my arms are put together. I got two arms. <laughs> Still got a leg, a chest. Yo. You at least build like the head first. I thought so too. Like usually they do. Like you have you build the head first before they have you do anything else. I forgot it does come with a don't uh dome. That way you... so it comes with this dome and unpainted. I'm not painting it up. I'll just sit there just like this. <laughs> what, with the arms complete? Now I formed the head like Voltron? Four feet. Now you got something legs. to put the finger on. <laughs> wow, even, like, even this is rubber, too. That's wow. And I shouldn't have to cut out the headband, but I got to cut out the headband. They make you cut out the headband and the little stand for it. You would think. You could put a little baggie. It's fine. A little baggie's fine. That's why I don't need no instructor for. I can do this one pretty <laughs> this part pretty easy. <laughs> Give me some of that stuff trash. you're not supposed to Rain eat. Trash. Yes. <laughs> like, oh, look at this. This is great stuff. I should go ahead and eat it. Mm -hmm. How many people had to eat it before they started putting that little sign on there? One too many. But here he is, all put together. Little doman. Look at him. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Darius can build his own Gundams. <laughs> he doesn't need me to do that. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, so we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you, everybody, for coming out for the first episode. Um, like IE Creators and Collecting Our Future, this is going to be once a month. Uh, me and Jay will do this and, we'll, you know, have some conversations about anime. Uh, so, you know, this is just the first episode, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, but I hope you all have a great week. Have a good night. Um, Jay, you got anything else for the people before we get out of here? No, this was fun, man. Thanks for coming out, y'all. We'll see you next time. Definitely. Thank y'all. See ya.